building you are seeing behind me is the Jawaharlal Nehru Auditorium of Ames, Delhi. Today we have a very special guest with us. Someone who not only cracked NEET but went on to be the All India Ranked 3rd among 10 lakh aspirants. Also, he went on to be the All India Ranked 10th in Ames MBBS exam. So Manish Muljandani, how are you enjoying the change from your school life to the life here at Ames, Delhi? Life here at Ames Delhi is much more comfortable and relaxing as compared to that at school. Particularly comparing it from the life which I spent at 11th and 12th. That was the worst part of my life I ever had. I had to put in my entire day into studies, classes, studies, sleep, classes, studies, sleep. I couldn't take out time from anything else. Here, uh, all the pe some people while preparing for Ames feel that when we enter into Ames, there is no, uh, there will be no studies. But थोड़ी बहुत studies तो हैं, लेकिन they uh, they can be done in a week prior to the examination. Rest of the time you can enjoy. Ames में fest चलती, कोई ना कोई competition चलता ही रहता है. कभी fest आ जाती है, कभी pulse आ जाता है, कभी सरस्वती पूजा, या return pressure, या precious party. Ames में कुछ ना कुछ चलता ही रहता है. Ames कभी रुकता नहीं है. और Ames में रात नहीं होती. Ames में night life भी बहुत अच्छी है. So Apart from the little bit of academic pressure that exists here, life at Ames is very nice. And you get time to know yourself over here because you can spend time with yourself. As compared to uh, the time which you spent in class 12, you had a lot of pressure, you had a lot of pressure. Here you don't need to score high in any examination, you just need to clear it for the sake of moving into the next year. And your grades here do not matter, so definitely you must not concentrate only on studying. Yeah, you must understand the basic things which you will need while practicing but yeah as compared to the stress at class 11th and class 12th it's very less over here so Manish did Ames uh, Delhi turn out to be as good as you had dreamt of or better or worse uh, basically I had dreamed uh, of Ames as a very ideal institution but actually it is not that I yeah as I told earlier that I expected that once I enter into Ames there would be no studies and all and so life was very chill hogi. life was very good लेकिन स्टडीज हैं जो हम एग्जाम टाइम में करते हैं क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली डॉक्टर बनना है आपको जिंदगी भर पढ़ना तो है ही लेकिन कोई भी बनने का प्लस टू लेवल से तो काफी अच्छी लाइफ है यहाँ पे यहाँ पे देर आर मेनी स्पोर्ट्स विच यू कैन प्ले देर इज अज स्विमिंग पूल देर इज अ न्यूली रेनोवेटेड बास्केटबॉल कोर्ट अ लॉन्ग टेनिस कोर्ट अ फुटबॉल ग्राउंड एंड ऑन विच यू कैन बी प्ले क्रिकेट ऑल्सो द टेबल टेनिस जिम इक्विपमेंट लॉन्ग टेनिस बैडमिंटन देर आर होल लॉट ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स यू कैन एंजॉय देर इज अ लाइब्रेरी विच इज मेट फॉर रिक्रिएशन where you can find books of uh, various authors like Yatan Bhagat which are currently uh, very popular amongst the youth you can find magazines like India Today and so and so the library and there are a lot of events happening here Kabhi SU ke students union ke elections hain usme hum part lete hain usme treat milenge seniors se so life at Ames is nice very nice okay so like we would like to know uh, how did you kept yourself motivated throughout your days of preparation uh, basically, my aim was not only centered around entering into aims. My aim was a very broad one. I had to clear aims. I had uh, subsequently I would pursue PG, then I'll practice. And my aim was to become a good doctor to actually serve the society, and not only to tell in front of the camera that I want to serve my nation. I want to serve my nation. I, uh, that was my actual motivation. Since I wanted to serve the nation, every time when I used to get disappointed and so and so. I used to put in all my energy into one thing. What I have to do? I have to become a doctor to help the needy, to help the people who are in need of a doctor because the ratio of doctors is to patients is very low in India. So that was my main motivation which kept me motivated through all through ups and downs I went during my preparation. And like how did you used to manage stress during your preparation days? And like on the examination day, how did you manage your stress? Basically, the stress goes on increasing as the examination approaches. So you should not spend entire 24 hours while study, uh, in stu in, into studies. While having food, you can go for some cartoons like I used to watch Tom and Jerry while I used to stay in the hostel and Tom and Jerry and lots of cartoons and I had interest in politics so I used to read a lot of newspapers which also helped me in, in the GK portion of games. So point is you cannot study for the entire day. You have to spend your time into some kind of recreational activities. but. You have to be cautious, like these activities should not divert you from your studies. The thoughts should not come into your mind while you are studying. While you are studying, your focus should be on studies. But definitely, apart from a certain hours of study, the day is yours, even while preparing. If you have decided that you have to study for 8 hours a day, the rest 16 hours are yours. 
you have to do whatsoever you want to you can do you are free to do but you have to keep your mind relaxed stay calm and keep on working hard so talking about studies like can you suggest which topic should one focus on in the last month of preparation in like physics chemistry and most importantly biology uh, basically the main mantra of preparation in the last one month or so of any examination is that of for any subject is that you should not read anything which you haven't read till now you should only focus on revising what you have read till now because anything which you read till now adds adds to your stress and there is very less probability that you will retain it in the examination so just revise what you have read if you have made notes that's the best thing you just revise your notes as far as aims and need are concerned talking about the biology portion ncert is very very important if you have read the ncert thoroughly you can definitely solve 85 90 or even more percentage of portions of the biology section so ncert to padhni hi hai kisi bhi halat mein and if you have not read the ncert thoroughly that's the you you have got you, st- you have still got an opportunity you can read the ncert and for biology you should focus on the figures charts diagrams and flow charts of ncert because they are directly taken up by the examiner and as far as physics and chemistry is concerned you have to establish a balance of marking up things and applying them Spe- talking specifically about physics and physical chemistry the formula copy which i always uh, speak of is the most helpful tool now because you don't need to read the entire theory chapter of physics right now you just need to learn the formulas and learn how to apply them so if you have made the formula copy revise it daily if you have not made it still still there are 30 days left you can try making the formula copy in a week or two and in the subsequent days you have to revise that copy again and again so that the th- the formulae are thoroughly instilled in your memory and you can apply them apart from that you don't need to just mug up the formula you need to practice them you need to practice calculations because calculations in aims and neat are very tough uh, only the mathematical part that is simple multiplication and division which we generally tend to ignore because medical stream and maths to logo ka bhi hota hai so physics of need need not be taken as a burden you can score very high in physics if you just remember the formula and know how to apply them Remember you don't have to commit any kind of silly mistakes just focus on uh, calculations no integration or differentiation will be asked in neat but definitely it will be asked in aims in aims also i uh, got to know it the, in the last day of the exam uh, last day just before the exam that aims provides a virtual calculator because aims is a computer based test so for aims you need to know basics of integration and differentiation and rest of the basic mathematical operations you can do on the virtual calculator but that is not the case with neat so with, uh, if you are aspiring for neat you need to be thorough with multiplication and division uh, talking about physical chemistry it goes on same as physics you need to leave the ncert of class 11th i don't find that for neat ncert of class 11th physical chemistry is that important but definitely if you are aspiring for aims you cannot leave even a single chapter of ncert of any subject for aims ncert is your bhagavad gita you have to follow it and for need biology uh, biology ncert is your bhagavad gita but you need not follow physics and chemistry ncert in need apart from certain chapters of physical chemistry like solutions and surface chemistry some chapters of inorganic chemistry which you have to read solely from the ncert like metallurgy p block s block so for these topics ncert is important and the last chapters uh, given in the class will the ncert bio molecules polymers and chemistry in everyday life these topics are very easy the questions framed from them would be simply information based if you have read the ncert once no one can stop you from solving that question correctly so stick to the ncert for these chapters also for inorganic chemistry and that of physical chemistry and organic chemistry ncert is not that important but again i would repeat if you are preparing for aims you cannot leave even a single chapter of ncert you cannot leave any chapter of any subject Oh, so like on the very exam day like uh, while answering the questions like should we answer the questions like from one to the last or should we answer the easier topics first and then go on to the harder topics what do you suggest uh, basically the paper of exams is not set according to topics ki usme aisa nahi hota ki semiconductor ke char question ab metallurgy ke question ab is question aisa nahi hoga so you have to first take a glance at the paper you have to assess the level of difficulty of particular sections If you find that biology is easy or physics is easy or chemistry is easy, try solving that portion earlier. My personal strategy was, which I practiced for many tests, was to solve biology in the first 40 to 45 minutes. 
then irrespective of the fact whether biology has been completed or not i used to switch on to physics i used to solve physics for 40 minutes and then i switched on to chemistry at the end i was left with about an hour or so in which i used to revisit the questions of biology then mark the ma sheets then physics and then chemistry remember you cannot stick on to one particular question in while solving a paper because if you stick on to that question that eats up your time and ultimately you won't be able to answer the, uh, those questions which you can easily answer because time is very important in neat 180 questions 180 minutes that means 1 minute for one question you cannot afford to give more than 2 to 3 minutes on a very difficult problem so another question which you would like to know is like during your preparation days like was there a moment when you thought that nahi yaar ab to exam crack nahi hoga when you gave up all hopes but then you fought back and like you just cracked the exam uh frankly speaking there were many ups and downs in my preparations as exists in the preparation of uh, the majority of the toppers so there were many moments in which i broke down i felt demotivated i felt dejected i felt low so what i used to do was to concentrate on my aim my ultimate aim was to become a doctor to serve the nation i used to think of how i'll be when i'll become a doctor even if that didn't help i used to talk to my mentors and to my faculties who used to motivate me and this was the factor which helped me a lot talking to mentors talking to even uh, i should uh, mention one of my friend who was any a year younger to me uh, kartike he used to help me a lot whenever i felt low i used to chat with him and he motivated me and all my sadness was gone and i was back to studies again so you should make such kind of friends with whom you can talk to but you should not you should keep in mind that they should not eat away your free time okay so finally like would you like to give some tips to our uh, students who would be appearing this year for the exam so uh, since less than a month is left for the final examination of neat and about one and a half month is left for aims i suggest uh, as i already told just revise what you have already read revise the formal log copy again and again don't go for any other factual information which is not given in the ncert and don't waste your time with unnecessary concepts don't go into the detail of anything just uh, have a superficial view of every topic and stay calm while uh, giving the examination practice a lot of question papers you can take question papers of any company maybe aims maybe akash maybe aim for aims or any test series which you find relevant because you should solve the questions which have been set by different set of faculties so that you can get every insight of how the examiner can set the final paper so solve a lot of questions question papers analyze them and try not to commit the mistakes which you have already committed and be very very careful while filling the omr sheet because your entire efforts which you have put in all through the last 24 months or so rest in the final omr sheet so be very careful while filling it not even a single mistake should happen and the only way you can perfect yourself in filling the omr sheet is through practice and stay calm by in the last 2 to 3 days of the examination do not study too much watch cartoons chat with your friends and stay very calm because if you while appearing in the examination if you are stressed if you are not calm definitely it will perfect your performance and your f- entire efforts which you have put in for the last few months go in vain so just stay calm stick to the basics and study what you have read thank you and all the best for the coming neat and aims examination like the video subscribe to our youtube channel and stay updated on other universities and entrance exams follow us on facebook twitter and www.careers360.com